Coach Nicole from SparkPeople.com. In this video, I'll lead you through a short upper body toning workout. All you'll need is a set of dumbbells for this. So let's get started by taking our weights, one in each hand, and we're going to lengthen through the back, pull the abs in nice and tight, and get ready for a bend over fly. So we want to bend the knees slightly, keeping the back straight, lean forward as far as you can with a straight back. Weights down in front of the shoulders, we pull up to the side, and then we're going to pull the weights straight back. So it's a reverse fly to the side, and then pulling back behind you. So notice I'm a little bit low into a squat here, just to keep it easier on the knees and the back. But if you need to stand up a little taller for this move, if it's bothering your back, you can't keep it straight, that's okay. The elbows stay softly bent, and every time you lift those weights up away from the floor, you're exhaling. Every time you lower them to the floor, you're inhaling. So we exhale, lift, inhale, lower, exhale, lift, inhale, lower. Think about your belly pulled up away from your thighs, engaging through those abs. Let's do one more set here. Exhale, inhale, exhale, and inhale. Now I'm going to stay low into this little squat and drive one leg straight back behind you. The weight stays down in front of the shoulder. Here we're going to row up. Do that a couple more times. Row it up and hold. Add a tricep extension. Three, two, one, and hold. Then we'll lower down and up, down and up, down and up, and hold. Slowly bring it back down, and we'll repeat that series. So it's row, row, row. Make sure you're breathing. Extend. Keep that upper arm glued to the side of the ribcage. Hold it there. Lower down, down, down and up. Slowly lower it back down. One more time with that set. Abs in tight. Exhale, exhale. Exhale, row and hold. Extend, 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 hold it there. Lower, 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 hold that arm up. Slowly release it down. Bring the foot together, stand it up, we'll switch sides. So, a little bit of a bend, drive the back leg straight behind you, hand to the thigh. Same series starting with that row. We row up for three, row it up and hold, then extend, just straighten the elbow only. Hold it there, lower down and up, down and up, down and up, and hold it. Slow return back underneath that shoulder. Two more sets like that. Exhale, 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 hold it still. Elbow only, straightening and bending. Hold it up, lower down, 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 reach that pinky to the ceiling. Slow return underneath that shoulder. Set it up, one more set. Row for three. Hold it there, extend, work that tricep. Hold it, lower it down, 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 all the way up, and slowly release it down, step the foot in, and stand it tall. Next, I'm working on some shoulder raises. One hand to the side, palm facing you, one hand in front of the thigh. We're gonna alternate side to side. So it's a lift like an L, other side. One arm to the side and one arm forward. Make sure you're breathing, you're exhaling when you lift those weights up. Four more here. There's three. Two, nice and tall, abs are in tight. Now let's take this to a curl. I'm keeping the grip the same, alternating sides. So this is just a reverse grip curl. Uh, side to side there, making sure you're exhaling every time you curl it up. One more time on each side. Good, now we're just gonna switch the grip, same exercise. Palms face away for those shoulder raises. Exhale, other side. It's really important on this one that you're watching the position of the wrist. Make sure you're not bending the wrist at all. It's nice and neutral, in line with the forearm. Continue to breathe one more time to each side for this. Then our bicep curls. Let's start it on the opposite side. Exhale, bring it down. Good, now if you need to widen your legs a little bit here, if that makes it feel easier, go ahead. The closer you bring your legs together on any standing exercise, the more you're working through your core and your balance. Last one here, and release it. All right, now we're ready to go down to the mat, bring your weights with you. Now that you're on your mat and you have your weights, you can hold either one weight or both weights, but we're gonna do it in one hand. This is a little chest press exercise, so it's up to you how much challenge you wanna add. So I'm taking it all in my right hand, laying all the way down to the back. Elbow out to the side, walk those heels in and bring your left arm out to the side for support. We're going to start just with a press across the body. Exhaling to press toward the knee and up, and inhaling to lower. We're going to do a few with our back down, 
And our final repetitions, we'll add a little crunch to that side. All right, let's have that crunch now where we lift up and look toward the weights and then lower it back down. Three more just like that, really crossing the midline with your arm and your weights. Last one, and release it. Go ahead and pass your single or double dumbbells to the other hand, arm comes to the side, elbow wide. Lay it flat as you press across the body, and then lower the elbow with control. Three more like that. Here's two, exhale and inhale. Last one here, and if you want to add that crunch, we're going to add a little twist on the press, and back down. Here's three, two more times. Last one, looking toward those weights. Bring it down, and you're finished with your weights. You can set them off to the side. We've got just a couple more exercises. Let's roll over onto your stomach on the mat and lie all the way down. I want you to bring your arms out to the side like a goalpost. Hover above the mat with them. From here, we're gonna engage the core by lifting the chest slightly. This is a tiny movement where we squeeze the shoulder blades and lower. Notice the arms are really only moving a few inches here. Once you see the move, I want you to release your head back down to a neutral, neutral position where the neck is in line with the spine and you're looking toward your mat, squeezing and lowering. Exhale and inhale. Think about those shoulder blades as if they're gonna pinch your spine as you lift those arms up. Four more. Here's three, belly pulls away from the mat. Two, last one. Let's bring the arms down to the side, palms up, the arms are lengthened. Chest just a little bit higher here. Pulse both arms up and down. So I want you to really focus here on the squeeze of the triceps right there at the upper back portion of the arm. The wrist should be long and neutral. Reach those fingertips down toward your feet. And we're trying to keep the chest lifted so you feel that lower back engaged along with your arms. Let's do just a few more. We're going to pump up the intensity right here by making it a little quicker. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, release it down. You have one more exercise, push-ups. If you wanna go ahead and push up to your knees, um, you can do these in a tabletop position to make it easier, or a modified knee position in a plank, that's an intermediate position, or all the way on your toes if that's your level. We're gonna do one set of eight as soon as you're ready. On your inhale, lower down, exhale, press the floor away. You wanna make sure your body's in a nice straight line, and you're just lowering down as far as you can with control. You've got just four more. Pull that belly away from the floor. Exhale, press away. Last two. Last one. And go ahead and come up to have a seat, however you're comfortable, on your knees or cross-legged. And we'll stretch out through that upper body really quick. Let's take one arm across the chest, hug it in, relax the shoulder down. Sit as tall as you can with your back here. And open it really wide. Go ahead, and switch sides. Notice I'm not grabbing on a joint, the elbow or the wrist, but somewhere in between. Good, and release it. Let's take the fingertips behind the back, lengthen tall, open that chest wide, look up toward the ceiling, get a little bit of an arch through the back. And now let's reverse that. Wrap the fingers in front and around the spine. Tucking your chin in, drawing your shoulders down. Let's keep those fingers laced, reach tall, and release the arms all the way down to the side. Great work, you're finished with your short upper body sculpting routine.